Welcome to another video from Dr. Lock. I wanted to talk about removable barrels on some cam locks and T-handles. So these are lock focus T-handles here and we're going to be installing the barrels. For this particular lock they actually come outside of the package, which for some customers is undesirable, but it's not a big thing and I'm going to quickly show you how to do that. First of all we're going to look at just a couple of these barrels. So what they are is the barrel with all the discs set to the actual key and to hold them in place you've got this retainer on the back. Now the special keys that we can use to slide into the lock to capture that retainer to pull the actual barrel out. So why is this good? This is good because if you've got let's say a multiple, a whole heap of these handles fitted somewhere, uh, let's say you're an electrician you make electrical switchboards and you've got these handles on your products and all of a sudden you find out hey a key's been lost. Rather than go through and have to unbolt all the mechanism that's on the back of the lock, um, undo the two screws from the back, you'll be able to come along from the front, uh, pull out the plug or the barrel slide in a new one and engage it and it's ready to go. So they're a lot quicker when it comes to changing the combination of the key if you go for a product which has a, a replaceable barrel. So this particular lock focus ones they come with that which is just uh, you know the way they come. A lot of other locks don't come with that. You can't really judge a book by its cover and look at the front of this and say oh it says lock focus it's got one of those removable barrels. Only certain ones do, certain ones don't, certain brands do, certain brands don't. Um, I've had certain um, uh, products where they look identical but they don't have that removable function. That's what removable barrels are all about for that easy replacement of the barrel. On this particular product here if you ever buy one of these and you find that hey the barrel is out what I like to do is I like to pull the key out about five millimeters not all the way if you pull it out all the way the discs can go shooting so I pull it out about five millimeters I depress that last retainer in and I push the key back in and if you're lucky the retainer will be retained in there as so, as you can see now that retainer's in. That allows me to simply now to slide that barrel into the actual lock, rotate it until I can feel it sink all the way down to the home position, which it just did. It sunk all the way to its lowest position. Before that, it, when I put it in, it looks like it's flat, but it wasn't until I actually rotated the key that I could see that the barrel sunk that little bit further. Once it's in that position, hold the barrel with your tip of your finger and pull the key out. When you go to use the key the next time round, you'll find that the barrel is actually in there and it's being retained. Okay, if you're buying these in bulk, uh, we can order them so that they have this feature. And then, if you ever want to change the actual key on uh, your products or or uh, your lockers or garages, whatever you need, you can do this by simply replacing this barrel. These are found under the um, small on our website. You find it under small locks, cam lock parts, and then you'll find it under cam lock barrels. Other products uh, which have it are, are some of these cyber locks. These ones here are for mailboxes, but they can also be used for desk drawers, notice boards, push locks. Um, there's a whole wide range of locks that this particular removable barrel will suit. And once again, it's the same sort of thing. If you're lucky, you can push it down and push that retainer in and it'll be held in. If you're not lucky, then what you'll have to do is you'll have to use a spike tool or a small flat blade screwdriver and push that down while you slide the barrel in. It's all fairly straightforward. It's to do with that last retainer holding it in. Um, the, yeah, mailboxes, desks, cupboard locks, things like this. Here's another one. So that was a uh, lock focus. That was CL. And this one we hear again is another lock focus one. This looks like it's um, from some type of roller door. To be honest with you, I'm not even sure which one this is, but it is one of the one of the ones that you can slide in and, and slide out. Uh, actually, this does look like a roller door one, so it's not a it's not a removable one. Don't know why I'm showing you that. Anyway, let's put that back in the pack. So removable barrels, yes, very good. Um, it's a thing that you would probably want to organize if you're doing a product where you might want to change the keys later on down the track and you're looking for a quick, easy solution. That could be office stuff with office drawers or lock display cabinets in your shop. Um, that also could be uh, lockers at a high school. That could be uh, electrical switchboards, um, anything along those lines. Uh, so it does make it easy. We do have all the all the range which are accessible to us, and um, there's quite a lot of them under the CL brand, Cyberlock, and there's quite a lot under the Lock Focus brand. Now, a lot of these products do take a little bit of time to order, especially if you're ordering an unusual quantity, like give me 30 of this, key to differ, or 30 of that. So generally, we, we have a small amount of stock, you know, 10 of this, 10 of that, but if you do need something bigger or different, I would just ask you to be a little bit more patient. Okay, so that's uh, removable, removable barrels, and to do it on the to do it on the T-handle if you ever get one and you can't put the, the barrel in. So it's going to come like that. Simply push down that last disc at the back. Sorry, pull your key out, 5mm. Push down that last one at the back, 
put it back into the lock, rotate it until it's gone down to its furthest lowest position, hold that in a circle, pull it out, and you are good to go. That's the locked position, and that's the unlocked position. Okay, thanks for watching.